In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're about halfway through Lent, and so I just wanted to present this quick message of encouragement to anyone that's finding the video on YouTube. Lent is a difficult time for us. It's a time when we're giving up uh, some of our attachment to sinful passions, such as eating or too much entertainment. And we're trying to realign our life with Christ. It's a long period. Uh, 40 days of Lent, uh, plus in the Orthodox Church, uh, Lent is calculated a little differently than in the Roman Catholic Church, so we add on seven more days for Holy Week. So we have 47 days of intense fasting. It's difficult, and um, it can cause people to become discouraged. We know that that is because whenever we're giving up uh, any of our attachments to uh, the world, then the world is going to fight back. It seems like every time we try to do good, then everything uh, rises up against us. Well, as well, we're just going with the flow. Uh, we're, not, we're not finding any resistance. So it's to be normal, it's normal and to be expected that, that when we're trying to readjust our life, realign our life to be more, toor more towards our Savior Christ, that we would encounter difficulties, and sometimes we might even feel down. So I just wanted to get on YouTube and make this post and encourage all of my brothers and sisters to keep, to keep up the good fight. This is a, a not a scripted talk. I'm just sitting here speaking from my heart to you today to tell you that we're almost there. We're almost at Pascha. We're almost at the resurrection. Pascha is going to come, and we're going to. That's Easter in the Orthodox Church, and we're going to have a great time. But leading up to that, we have to be prepared. We have to be ready. We know that we'll be preparing food. We'll be preparing dishes uh, to bring to the Pascha festival, uh, if we have a potluck in our church's tradition, uh, or we'll be preparing the food at the church if we put on a. Um, lamb roast, or any of these wonderful things that we do to celebrate that great day. But we also have to be preparing our soul, because we have a great liturgy to be ready for. We have the Holy Week services, and if we're not preparing now, we won't be ready. We won't enjoy them as much. We won't get everything out of it as we should. So, of course, the devil, the demons, our temptations are going to come, and they're going to tell us right now about halfway through oh, you know, we're not really doing so good. Um, this really isn't having much of an impact. Or the worst temptation of all, which is, um, look, things are worse now that you're fasting and praying more. We, we know that when you first start off on a task, uh, sometimes going up the hill is uh, very difficult. Think about when you go up a roller coaster. You're uh, going along up those ruts, ching, 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 and it seems to take forever. But once you get over the hill, it's all downhill from there. It's great. It's a lot of fun. Um, so no, no great spiritual achievement happens without putting in some effort, without being patient, without being helped along by someone else. In this case, just in the roller coaster analogy, we're helped along by the machinery. In the case of the church, we're helped along by each other. Let's not keep our feelings inside. If we're feeling down, if we're feeling uh, dejected, or we feel like we're not really having any uh, benefit from fasting this time around, let's talk to someone else. Let's talk to our spouse. Let's talk to our parents. Let's talk to our brothers and sisters or our friends, someone else at church, and just tell them that it's, things are tough. And then the other person can pray for them. But know also that these feelings, these, these circumstances are normal. It's a temptation. So just put them aside. Just tell those thoughts to go away. We know that we have power over our thoughts. The Orthodox Church teaches us a way to block out evil thoughts. We can use the Jesus Prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. And we can say that prayer whenever temptations come, and they will go away. We can also make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. When we say it diligently, then we will be empowered to chase away these thoughts and temptations. The feeling of dejection, the feeling of being down, the feeling of not accomplishing anything, who are we to know what we're accomplishing? We have to be careful and remember that we're doing this not 
out of some selfish motive, but in order to draw closer to our Lord Jesus Christ. Only He is the judge that can determine whether we are making progress. What is progress? Only Christ can be the judge of that. Our job is to follow the fasting of the church, to follow the prayers, and to attend as many services as possible, and not to be so focused on whether we're making progress or not. We have a spiritual father to whom we confess, and our spiritual father is there to guide us. We should never take it upon ourselves to think that we're not making progress, and that therefore, really, let's just throw in the towel, or any of these other sentiments. Now, some of the people watching this video have already given up. Maybe you've already started eating dairy or meat again. You just couldn't handle it. Um, you haven't said your prayers. Maybe you haven't done the prayer of St. Ephraim. Maybe you haven't been doing your prostrations. Okay. Well, you know, make, make your prayers. Say your prayers. Uh, admit this to Christ. Uh, say you're sorry. Go to church. Go to confession. Tell your priest. And then get started again. We still have halfway to go. We still have over 20 days left to prepare for Pascha. So in 20 days, we can do a lot. We can really make an impact still. It's not too late. So even if we have fallen behind on our prayers, on our fasting, on church attendance, let's just start over. You know, priests, uh, we think of the priests sometimes as being um, immune to being down or the feelings that, we, that the, the lay people have. But priests have struggles too. It's hard. And sometimes we um, think, you know, oh well, you know, there's not as many people coming to the church during the services in Lent, and, and wouldn't it be nice if more people came? So when you come to the church, and when you are doing the fasting you're supposed to be doing, and reading the Holy Scriptures, doing all the things that the church asks us to do, and your priest sees that, it gives him a lot of encouragement. So you can brighten your priest day when you do the fasting and prayers of the church and observe Lent properly. It will have a positive impact on someone else. So don't just think about, well, I have failed, I'm down, I don't see any difference, because you don't know what difference you might be making in someone else's life, your spouse, your children, your friends, or your priest. We priests love it when people come to church. And we love it when we see the people that we care about fasting and praying and reading the Holy Scriptures, reading the Bible. So let's get to it. Let's all pick up. Let's reach out to each other. Let's help each other out. Let's get past this hurdle we're at right now in the middle of the fast and get back into it. This Sunday, we have the Sunday of St. John of the Ladder. Then we have the Sunday of St. Mary of Egypt. What an inspiring story of repentance. And then Palm Sunday and Pascha. It's almost here. So let's be ready. And let's help each other out encourage each other. We all can be, feel the love of Christ through ministering to each other because we're one body together in his name. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.